Hello, so today's video is perfect for those of you who are a student, if you're someone who suffers from a disability, or if you're somebody who just doesn't have the time or is feeling tired or a bit down and you just don't want to be in the kitchen, these are going to be really, really easy and really, really simple for you because they will either be using a microwave or no microwave at all, no oven and just a kettle. So they are really, really, really simple. If you're new to veganism and you don't have access to an oven or if you don't want to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen, then I'd really recommend you go and get yourself a really cheap food processor or blender. Most supermarkets nowadays sell them for around 10, 20 pounds. Also get your hands on a kettle and maybe even a rice cooker. A rice cooker could be a really good option that's an all-rounder. We used one of those when we were traveling to cook all of our meals. Also, lots of brands nowadays in the supermarkets are coming out with vegan ready meals, which makes a lot of people's lives a lot easier. So go and have a look in your supermarket and see what new things you can see. And I get a lot of questions about what spices I'd recommend that you use as a beginner to cooking or to veganism. I would keep it simple and stick to things like salt and pepper, garlic, and maybe some mixed herbs. And for spices, things like cumin, paprika, chili, and maybe some turmeric. With those spices, you will be able to make any recipe and make them taste delicious. As always, all of the recipes are linked in the description down below. So check that out so you can follow along and let's get into the meals. So you can have an absolutely delicious stir fry without having to get takeaway, without having to spend a lot of money on a ready meal. This is so cheap and so delicious. You can use whatever veggie you like as well. It doesn't have to be this veg. This is just kind of cheap. Carrots would be great. Maybe you can lay here beside me. Maybe, just maybe. Dressing clouds and suns Maybe, just maybe I wanna explore the unknown Tell me, maybe I say come, whatever comes Maybe, just maybe Deep sleep, big heat, cover me Re-energize me in front of all of your friends. <laughs> I 
of it how I want so you could have this with maybe some rice you could have it in a wrap I'm gonna do it on a bed of spinach and then drizzle some tahini on top but it's kind of something that you can get experimental with you don't have to serve it in just one way smells like a uh, tuna melt, like a proper tuna jacket potato. Tastes like it too. So, so delicious. It could do with some salt and pepper on top, I think, or even a little bit of butter underneath it all. So nice. So I really hope you enjoyed all of those meals. I certainly did, and Alex especially liked the nachos. If you recreate any of them, definitely share your pictures with me over on Instagram and tag me because I really love seeing all of your pictures. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite go-to microwave or no oven meals are as a student, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Wait, is one for me? Salt. Salt bay. <laughs> Salt bay. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really work, does it? <laughs>